my name is Kyoko and welcome to Osaka, Japan. In this video, you'll be seeing everything from drag racing, circuit racing, uphill, downhill racing, and of course, drifting. So let's hit the streets of Osaka and go check out some cars. It is a port in the Gulf of Osaka. Every weekend, these kids come out to this place to show their driving techniques. Absolutely crazy. This is a warehouse district and you hardly see any regular cars passing by, mostly trucks. What these people are doing is illegal of course, and even though they're ignoring all major traffic rules, the impressive thing was that the drivers only go once the light turns green. There were about 30 cars there that night, and it's amazing how so many cars gather every weekend. These are mostly amateur drivers who just come to have fun and show off their cars and driving. A lot of people come to watch, and I guess that makes the drivers want to show off their drifting even more. The police do come to break them up, but in about half an hour, they gather somewhere else and start drifting again. This is an S15 Sylvia. It's drift specific. Uh, the base is an NA engine with an Apex turbo upgrade. Um, it's a little under 400 horsepower. I, uh, I also changed the cooling system. Uh, radiator and uh, and I have the piping done at uh, Signal Auto. For me, the the most important thing is probably how it looks, and uh, and also of course the power uh, and your footwork, including the suspension, brakes, etc. I change the springs accordingly. And uh, I have OEM Brembo brakes on there. Um, you have to make the car stop as much as it runs. And also the angles of the tires are important too because you have to make the car slide uh, in order to drift. Well, if you can do it the first time, you can pretty much do it every time. Uh, the challenging part is to get yourself to, to do it that first time. I think I spent about uh, more than $25,000 on fixing it up and plus about $17,000 on the car itself. All my money pretty much goes to my car. I, uh, I can't even afford to have a girlfriend, but uh, it's fun. It's fun and I love it, uh, so I'm going to keep on doing it. Hello. 
base is a Toyota JZX100, but I have a 2JZ GT in there with a GT3040 turbo upgrade. It has about 600 horsepower. So you can see this is the turbine. And let's see, I used a bigger throttle body than the original to change the engine. This car is normally 2500 cc's, but since the 2JZ is 3000, I gained 500 cc's, which means more power. Also, with big cars like this, you have to make it as lightweight as possible. I got rid of all of the interior, and the windows are replaced with acrylic windows, which makes it about 660 pounds lighter. For people who want to race on regular streets, the car should be comfortable to drive, so around 300 horsepower would probably be best. But for people who race at circuits, peak power becomes important, so probably around 600 horsepower is better. There were a lot of great drifters, but I was able to visit one of the best at his workplace. Today, I'm here to see one of the most famous drivers in Osaka. Some of you may know him as Drifter X, Mr. Humiaki Komatsu. I think I was influenced by a lot of my friends back in high school. I started watching videos and reading magazines and I wanted to be able to do it. As soon as I got my driver's license, I bought a Corolla GTS. Um, but I crashed that car in about six months when I was practicing. After that, I got a, a 240, and I've been driving a 240 ever since. The one I have now is my six car. Yeah, I, I try to keep it clean as much as possible. I want my car to look good as much as it runs good. It used to be like that, but in these past couple of years, uh, people started to really clean up their cars. Um, appearances is as important as a car's performance. The engine is, is normal with a turbo upgrade. I also changed the cam, uh, intake plenum, and it's important polished. I made all the piping myself. Power is important, but I think it's more about how well your car responds. The hood is made out of carbon fiber. Uh, it's light and has air ducts so the, the heat from the radiator can be released, uh, which keeps the water temperature low. FRP. Well, this is an FRP fiberglass front bumper. Um, again, it's good to have big openings like this so the air can go in. Um, well, you see, when you're drifting, the car is moving sideways, so it's hard for the air to travel through the car. Uh, so you want to build your car so air can go through and the water temperature stays stable. Uh, the car's <laughs> car's pretty low. The alignment is set at zero, and the front tires are cambered in about 2.5 degrees, and the rear tires are cambered in, in 3 degrees. I, uh, I tried different angles, and this setting is about the best for me. I have 17-inch wheels in the front and 18s uh, in the back. This is a, a late model 240 OEM wing. 
Uh, GT wings are popular, but um, I like this one because it keeps the the rear uh, really stable when I'm when I'm cornering. Bucket seats are a must. Uh, when you're drifting, your your body goes flying, uh, so you have to have these seats to to make your body more stable. Otherwise, you you just can't steer. From the left, that's the oil pressure, oil temperature water temperature, uh, exhaust temperature, and boost gauge. Uh, when I'm driving, I, I only look at the boost gauge, but afterwards I can look at the peak hold and, and see how my engine is doing. I think the fact that you can appeal to the, to the people who are watching you, uh, to be able to show off your skills, yeah, I think that's the really fun part about it. If you're just beginning, then, then I think you should work on your suspension and braking uh, and install LSD and, uh, and get lots of tires because they'll wear out really quickly. Uh, first start out by practicing going in circles. Uh, once you're able to control the size of the circle, uh, you should be able to, to do a complete drift. I think, I think drifting used to be considered pretty low in the racing scene, uh, but considering the amount of control that it's needed, I think, I think drifting is a really high level sport. Nowadays there are official drifting tournaments and it's being more recognized and accepted. I'd like to see drifting being spread all over the world and, and hopefully we can have a world competition someday.
This is a Corolla SR5. It has a 2JZ engine. I think it took about four years to finish this car. My best lap time is 10.1 seconds with radial tires, but hopefully I'll do better today. This is a 92 R32 GTR. Uh, on this course, I think the max speed goes up to about about 140 miles. My next car will definitely be an R34. I'll go GTR all the way. Well, the car has to be fast. That's that's all there is. <laughs> today where a race is about to go on so let's go take a look Hello, 
ましてよろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いいたします。This is a 99 S15 Silvia. I changed the turbine. I also changed the cam and intake plenum. Here I exchanged the brake caliper, and I have Apex N1 coilover shocks. This is a GT wing. I chose this one because I can change the angles depending on what course I'm driving at. I think the max horsepower is about 500. But I usually don't push it that far, maybe to about 400. A lot. Half my paycheck goes into this. I just work at a regular office, but I don't drive this car to work. I really haven't told people at work that I do this. <laughs> あ、山本博志います。よろしくお願いいたします。山本さんの車。そうです。あ、this is an RX7。そうです。あ、it's actually my my first time racing this car。I I used to drive a, a stock RX7。and now this car has like like 400 something horsepower。あ、so I'm I'm really nervous。The car definitely has to be comfortable to drive.、Uh, also, your computer settings are important. This fender here is is an FRP fiberglass, and the hood has ducts, so the so the heat from the engine can go out. I just hit the gas.、Uh, I don't really think about anything else. And and if you hit the brakes, the car turns. So that's my strategy. I、uh, I actually work for a construction company. My wife, she gave up complaining. She basically ignores what I do. Oh, I, I totally screwed up. Ah,、oh, that's so embarrassing. Uh, uh, this car is this car is way more than I can handle. <laughs> I ran off the course at the at the first corner right there.、Uh, I I definitely need a lot more practice. I am here at Kiyotaki Osaka. It looks kind of dangerous. I see a lot of regular cars going by too, but、um, yeah, we'll see what happens. The streets in this area are extremely windy and narrow, and you can hardly see not only the road ahead of you but also oncoming cars.
We're here at one of the most famous shops in Japan. I'm sure a lot of you in the States have heard of it too. Signal Auto. And let's go take a look. Signal Auto no Kita desu. A lot of our customers who come in want to tune their cars for street racing. We do everything from stock turbo upgrades, setting up the footwork, brakes, suspension. We also have a body shop. I think the average customer spends around $5,000 when they come in, but there are people who spend thirty to 40000 on their engine. This is at Pomona, and I think this one is at Palmdale. This is when we first participated in a race in the U.S. about six years ago. Unfortunately, we came in second, but we've done better since then. This is our second fastest GTR. We drive it pretty regularly, so it's not just for racing. Our policy is to make the car comfortable to drive on a day-to-day -day basis, not just fast. So this car has air conditioning, seats, four, five people, things like that. With the money we put into this car, you could probably buy a small house. In Japan, of course. It has about 780 horsepower, but it's really easy to handle, so it could definitely be an everyday car. If you get pulled over, well, you could probably get away. Police cars are way slower than this car. I would probably hit the gas without stopping. Only in Japan, that is. If I did that in the States, I'd probably get shot. <laughs> this is the fastest GTR that we have. We came in first at the HKS National Tournament last year. The car has around 1,200 horsepower. It does have a license plate, but you probably wouldn't want to drive this on regular streets. This is our fastest demo car, an R34 GTR. We call it the Yellow Shark. We wanted to make a car for circuit racing and so far it's done really well. It has about 800 horsepower. It also has an HKS oversized 2.8 liter kit with a Gretti turbo. We used a material called carbon Kevlar for the front and rear bumpers. It's a type of fiberglass and it's extremely lightweight.
The interior is made strictly for circuit racing with a full roll cage bar. We also put about three to four thousand rivets in between each spot weld for more durability and more stability. I honestly have no idea. We spent countless amounts of time, money and effort into this car and I don't think I could put a price on it. Yeah. <laughs> 